the Paraguayan Chaco, in the heart of South America. Cacti have grown into trees in this roasting, parched landscape. This is the hunting ground of the last uncontacted tribe south of the Amazon. No one knows exactly how many Ayareo Indians live here, but over the years a steady stream of people have emerged from the forest. The latest family made contact in 2004 after a bulldozer drove through their forest garden. They fled their house, leaving all their belongings. We went to meet them. We arrived at their village as dusk fell. As the temperature dropped, families gathered around the fire to weave baskets and tell stories. We were soon to learn that the Ayareo know this forest better than anyone. We went into the forest to find the bromeliad plants they make baskets from. As hunger set in, they set off to find edible palm heart. The spiny palm fronds burn quickly and the delicious palm hearts are ready to eat. The IRA easily find their way through forest, where an outsider would be lost in minutes. They can tell which trees are laden with wild honey and which bees have no sting. An IRAO woman called Katabia was in the group that made contact in 2004. She took us to see a house her family had built while they lived in the forest. Huge logs support the domed clay roof which keeps the roasting midday sun at bay. Sitting in the cooler air inside, she told us of life before contact. The abandoned house is already being reclaimed by the forest. But the settlers are trying to tame this landscape for good. First, roads are bulldozed deep into the forest, vast areas are flattened, and the cattle move in. One morning, we went with armed police to an area where IRAO hunters had seen bulldozers clearing land illegally. This is the front line in the battle for the Indians' territory. The rancher, a man called César Sosa, said he was just tidying the area around his house. This time the government seized the machines and fined their owner, but there's money to be made, and the bulldozers, which the IRO call the beasts with metal skin, will be back. A Brazilian company called Yaguarete has bought up a huge swathe of land in the heart of the Ayreo's homeland and plans to clear most of it and move in thousands of cattle. They even plan to set aside a parcel of the Indians' land as a private nature reserve. <laughs> Yaka, 
ya cae un pues o no no ya cae un va y que vos no si peor de ello cae un va el ni mongo no un un va tapado a la chica un va que mucha la hay un pega ya un te yo con ello if the IRA are to have the chance to choose their own future, they must have enough land to support their way of life. But in the meantime, the roar of the bulldozers grows ever louder.